Bob, it was a little nicer out today than it was the past couple days. Not so hot. Yeah, the mornings are a little bit more comfortable. Lower dew point temperatures are starting to feel a little comfortable. But, uh, you know, we'll take whatever we can get <laughs> after this long, hot summer that we went through. Yeah. Uh, you know, we've got a, a big month. You talked about it earlier in the news store, uh, newscast there about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And we have a special program going on. All this month, real men wear pink. That's the reason why I'm wearing pink tonight, the pink tie, pink shirt. You may not be able to see that at home, but it is. Uh, American Cancer Society obviously doing wonderful things to help out. Fundraising for early detection, prevention, groundbreaking research, and patient support, which is really all that important. I need you to help me out and uh, actually help out everyone who uh, gets diagnosed with breast cancer. It's a terrible disease, and my wife has gone through it over the last two years. D d no, d donate, go to Facebook, search at Suncoast WX, or just go to WWSB Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan and pledge your support. We have about 24 other guys in town trying to raise money for this cause. Doing our part in Real Men Wear Pink, I'll have something on MySuncoast.com too before this newscast is over, so you want to go there as well. Casey Key showing the pink sky right there uh, for October as well, and we had some nice photos sent in, and get a look at this, down in Inglewood, another shot of some Pink there, some clouds uh, off in the distance. So this was sent in from Allison Horton. Appreciate that from Inglewood. And uh, Cindy Desmond always sending some great shots in of the jetty there you see. Off in the distance, the sun just setting. Uh, and a little bit more clouds around tomorrow. We are anticipating due to a low pressure system that's uh, continuing to drift off to the west. No real uh, sign of it uh, developing into anything significant at this point. And I think it'll just give us enough uh, instability in the atmosphere along with enough moisture to produce a few scattered showers and some thunderstorms on Friday and into the weekend. We're now looking at a cold front, though, coming down to cool us off anytime soon. It'll be a little bit cooler, as I said, in the morning hours, and especially uh, looks like midweek next week, maybe back down to normal. Normal high for this time of year, right around 86. Not much rain out there uh, currently along the Sun Coast. We'll see a little bit better chance for some showers tomorrow afternoon and evening. I think most of it should be over by game time for the football Friday night. 79 on the temperature now, dew point temperature 72 when the winds are out of the east northeast at 8 and the pressure 29.97. That is rising ever so slightly, and, and so is our temperature uh, today. 89 degrees. Uh, that was, uh, again, well above the average of 86. Our normal low is 69, and we were pretty close to that this morning at 70. It's been a dry month, but a very wet year at 61 inches and two tenths. Our forecast tomorrow does call for sunshine throughout the morning, showers, and a few scattered thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon, uh, with the possibility of some lightning, not a lot, and I think more so on Saturday. And you can see the future cast indicating those showers popping up around 1.32 o'clock. Most of it should be over by 7, so hopefully the games will get in. And also Saturday, more showers and storms developing in the afternoon. I think a little more widespread on Saturday as more moisture moves into the weather picture. And looks like uh, Sunday, pretty much the same story. This is an incredible story. You know, this whole season has been unusual, very active. Well, this is now at 105 mile hour winds. We've never had a hurricane this strong, this far east and north in latitude ever recorded. And this one is now still gaining strength, even though the water temperatures are marginal at best there. And it continues to move off to the east very slowly, east-northeast movement. The problem is that it could get up to major category status. It's unlikely, but there's a chance it could. And then head off to the northeast. Now, even though it won't be a tropical system, we're talking winds up to 70, 70, even 80 miles an hour into Ireland, possibly even over to England on Monday and Tuesday of next week, as it will be a significant storm there. For us, uh, we'll stay in the warm sector, and it looks like a chance for a few showers and a few storms. For boaters tomorrow, it uh, looks like this. Northeast winds 10 to 15 knots, a moderate chop, and seas running again 2 to 3 feet. So a little windier tomorrow, water temperature at 83 degrees. And the tide's upcoming in the next low tide at 1, 632 for the high tide. And the forecast checks in like this. Partly cloudy, warm, and some patchy fog. Tomorrow, a good chance for showers and storms. Rain chance of 50% mainly in the afternoon. That rain chance stays high and elevated through the weekend.